Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today we're going to do another cooking video. Uh, what we're going to cook today, get my ice cream bucket out here, is we've got a deer heart. Uh, y'all, this is probably my favorite piece of meat out of a deer. Uh, and I think there's a lot of people now getting to where they eat the deer heart. Uh, for a long time, wouldn't nobody around here especially wouldn't even touch it. Uh, and I kept reading, you know, the Native Americans always eat them, which they eat them raw a lot of times. I hadn't took it that far yet that, to speak of. Um, but I did start cooking it. This probably is the best. This is nothing but a muscle, same as anything else in the deer. So... Uh, we're going to cut this up. What I've got to go along with it is some lion's mane mushroom that I have. Now this one has been in the, uh, in the refrigerator and I'm going to cut some pieces off of it. Uh, some of it, but I have found that lion's mane keeps in the refrigerator better than chicken of the woods, better than chanterelles. Uh, and really oysters would probably fall second. Oysters keep pretty good. So, and I've had some chicken of the woods in there for a while. It just loses a little flavor, but this seems to keep its flavor and all as it sits in the refrigerator, which I have had it in a Ziploc bag. I've also got some uh, wild garlic. Uh, this has been in the refrigerator from the last cooking video that we did. We're going to use it up. So we're going to saute all of this together. So hang with us and uh, let's get this heart and all processed up and get started cooking. So for starters, we're going to cut, and I have already trimmed most of the fat off of this heart. Uh, they still just a little bit, and it's probably not enough to really hurt anything, but just for demonstration purposes. And today, y'all, I'm using a Buck 110. This is a really good knife. I really like this knife. I know if y'all follow my videos, you see me using a Buck Langford, but this is a really good knife. I really like it. So what I do is start slicing this crossways this has been in the refrigerator uh, it has not been in water for a couple of days now so it's snowing outside or has been snowing it ain't still snowing but there's snow on the ground here in Mississippi so that's why we're cooking inside for these couple of videos. Alright, once this is cut up like this, you see these different, what they call ventricles. I uh, split them up, cut this up into little pieces. Just like you're sauteing, if there's any of that that you want to clean up any further, you can do that. Probably not going to hurt anything, but... We're just going to cut this up into saute type pieces. Now see like right there, that's a hard piece in that. You want to look for those. And this, I usually cut them in half and then, I don't mind bigger pieces. You have to cut it up to whatever size you, you prefer. Y'all see how pretty the muscles are. And 
That is the cleanest, best looking meat in this deer. All right. So, we got our meat. We're going to start getting it cooked with salt. So, let's get over here, get our skillet fired up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this on medium heat. Open up our lard container right here. Let me find me a spoon. We'll just use a fork. Use that lard, it'll stick to your ribs. Your ribs, not deer ribs. We're going to be letting that warm up here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this meat for just a minute back in our ice cream bucket right here that we just got it out of. I may season it in there. Y'all, if you don't have ice cream buckets sitting around, you just ain't eating enough ice cream. We'll cut that right there. You can see this mushroom is starting to get a little discolor to it. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, I'm going to cut this because that's where it was growing on a limb. Just dirty. Nothing wrong. So I'm going to start cutting this mushroom up. You just cut this up any which way you can, whatever you like. Then we got our wild garlic here. Get it cut up. Roscoe, you want your bite? There you go. <laughs> he had to get his piece now. Now we do have half an onion that was left from something else we cooked. Season up. Now this time we're still using picking and grilling, but this is the original. Y'all, this is good stuff now. I'm telling you, we're going to put that on our meat. And we're going to put a good amount on there now. Once you got that on there, we're going to just take our hand and roll it around, make sure we get it all over it good. thing here we got a little how you say this Worcestershire Worcester, Worcestershire sauce sprinkle that around in there a little bit then we're gonna come back with the picking and grilling again picking and grilling all right We're going to turn this down just a little bit because we're not going to, we're just going to drop all that meat in there. Season and We're going to get over here with our We're just going to mix this up pretty good here, let it saute a minute. It'll cool that skillet down some. 
The reason I like to cook this in cast iron is your temperature of your skillet don't fluctuate a lot. Once you put your meat in there, it don't like get cool and then you gotta turn it back up and down. You're not chasing it with a knob up here. But I don't like my meat overcooked now, so we fixing to go ahead and start sprinkling these wild garlic in there. Go ahead and get our mushrooms in. The mushrooms won't take long to cook. Now you can cut them up in smaller pieces. That's up to you. I just really needed to get mine cooked because I had had them in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks. I had gathered them while I was deer hunting. Oh yeah, y'all. I may cut some of these into some little smaller pieces there. Gonna have a meal fit for a king. <laughs> I believe Roscoe over here waiting on his bike. You like sauteed deer heart? All right. One more thing now. Y'all like that squeaking pantry door? We're gonna put a little garlic powder. Now this is due for the, uh, mainly to cook for the mushroom. Cause this has a little seafood flavor with this mushroom. So we're gonna put lemon pepper on it. We're not gonna get crazy with it like I do a lot of times. Y'all not gonna get to see Brody in this video. We've been out in the snow and Brody has come in and laid down over there. You probably hear him in the background snoring. He run a full blown logging crew over there, let me tell y'all. I mean, I hear the skitter running and the bulldozer blading the road down and logging trucks coming in and out over there, I hear them. <laughs> See my sticker on my Yeti cup. Get you a good look at that. A lot of juice moisture coming out of these uh, mushrooms. So what I usually like to do right along this time is I like to strain that juice off a little bit. So I run some hot water in the sink because most of it is water. I don't know. Right. We don't completely dry it up. See what, see what this ain't fit to eat. Oh, as always, dear Lord, we're so thankful for this food. We're thankful, Lord, for the animals you've allowed us to harvest. Thankful, Lord, for everything that you've given us. We pray, Lord, that you would bless this food, Lord, that it would give us strength and good health. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Roscoe's going to bite him. They can't see you down there. Little Roscoe have him a bite. Let's try this mushroom. That mushroom is fine. Just right. Another fine meal, every bit of this, right out the back door. Hard to beat eating like that. Oh. I see a lot of people, you cook heart a lot of different ways. You can batter it and fry it the same way you do your uh, back straps and whatnot. You can leave those in slices, put it on the grill, uh, several different ways. Uh, so, it, you know, it's basically just another muscle or a piece of meat, in my opinion, that is more tender than the tenderloin is. That lion's main mushroom, though, it's, it's good. I was going to tincture it, but I've actually got another hole in the refrigerator. Sweet tea. Well, thank y'all for joining us, watching us cook another wild game uh, recipe. This is Deer Heart. So thank y'all for watching Spirited Outdoors. I'm going to enjoy my meal here. We'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.